Well, hi, boys and girls, Mr. Jim here, and we're getting ready to do another in our series of Superheroes of the Bible. And I just wanted you to know, with me in the studio today as I'm recording this is my cat, Ollie, and he's laying on the table over there asleep right now. Can you believe he would sleep during the lesson? Oh, well, cats do that, don't they? At any rate, Ollie, I hope you have sweet dreams while we're talking about superheroes of the Bible. You'll be a good kitty, okay? Anyway, remember our storybook that we're talking about superheroes of the Bible, and today we're going to talk about not just one, but two superheroes. Yes, two superheroes. In fact, uh, these guys had special names. Don't all the superheroes have special names? And don't all of us have special names? Their names were Joshua and Caleb. Superheroes Joshua and Caleb. And it's based on the book of Numbers in the Old Testament, chapters 13 and 14. And uh, here's a picture of our two superhero guys. Hey, they look like superheroes, don't they? Joshua and Caleb. Joshua is the one with the beard, and Caleb is the one that doesn't have the beard. All right. <clears throat> well, let's review just a little bit. <clears throat> Remember that Moses had led the Israelites out of Egypt. Moses is one of our superheroes. He led the Israelites out of slavery. Remember, they were slaves in Egypt doing what the Pharaoh told them to do. Well, God had promised them freedom and a land they could call their own. And so they walked for a long time, and finally they reached the land of Canaan. This was the land that God had promised to give them way back before they left Egypt. Yes, God had promised to give them that land. It was going to be their homeland. But there was a problem. There were people already living in the land of Canaan. So, the Israelites would have to fight them to be able to take over their land. They'd have to fight them and win. Well, Moses sent 12 spies into the land of Canaan to see what the land was like. And when they returned, you know what the spies said? They said, yes, the land is beautiful. It grows wonderful plants. We'd never be hungry there. But the people who live there are giants. We could never defeat them. We should just forget about this land. We could never win against we could never win against these giants. Well, Joshua and Caleb were two of the spies. Two of those spies that were sent into the land. But they said, look, wait a minute, wait a minute. God has promised that this land is ours. He will help us win, even against giants. So let's get going. Let's take over the land. Well, the people listened to what the ten scared spies had to say. And they also listened to Joshua and Caleb. Joshua and Caleb had said, God will help us win. But you know what? The people did not believe Joshua and Caleb. They believed the ten other spies. They didn't even believe that God would do another miracle. Look at all the miracles God had done for them, like opening up the Red Sea and letting them cross on dry land. But it's like they'd already forgotten about that and all God's other miracles. They decided they couldn't try to take the land of Canaan. So you know what God did? God punished his people because they didn't trust him. The punishment was they had to, all, had to wander around in this wilderness that they were in. Just within sight of the land of Canaan, they had to wander around for 40 years instead of going to their new homeland. They wouldn't believe Joshua and Caleb. 
Well, Caleb and Joshua believed God would do what he had promised. Joshua and Caleb had a strong, firm faith in God. They believed in a great and mighty God who could do the impossible. And that's why they were superheroes. So what's our superhero tip for this week it is? Do you know what it is? Well, our superhero tip is when God says he's going to do something, believe him, even if it seems impossible, because God always keeps his word. There's a verse in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9. It says this, God is faithful to do what he says. We could kind of add the word and there. God is faithful and will do what he says. Say that verse with me. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9. God is faithful and will do what he says. Let's pray, all right? God, we thank you that you are faithful and will do what you say you will do. Help us to believe that. Lord, sometimes we doubt you. Even now with the way things are going with the, with the coronavirus and all, sometimes we, we get worried and, and we don't believe that you will see us through. But we know that as Christians that you will indeed help us through this and help us through every dark situation that comes into our lives. Help us to trust in you and to always believe in you. And Lord, if there's a fellow or girl who doesn't know you as Savior, help them to ask Jesus to come into their heart even today. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, before we go today, I want us to learn a song. You might know this song. It's a cute little song. And the words are this. I'm in right, outright, upright, downright, happy all the time. I'm in right, outright, upright, downright, happy all the time since Jesus Christ came in and cleansed my heart from sin. I'm in right, outright, upright, downright, happy all the time. You ready to hear the song? Okay, and, and try to sing along. It's real simple. All right, I'm going to fire things up. Are you ready? Okay. Music will start here in a moment. We hope. There we go. Ready? I'm right, up, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. I'm in right, I'm right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. Right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. Everything. I'm in right, up, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. I'm in right, up, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in, I'm my heart from sin. I'm in right, up, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. Hey, isn't that a cute song? Don't you like that song? Did you ever sing that song before? Probably some of you never have. And I hadn't heard that song in a long time either. I tell you what, let me uh, fire it up here one more time since it's such a short song and we'll end our session today with this song. All right, are you ready? We're getting ready to start. Right, 
All right. Sometimes I can't get all the motion straight, can I? But you can. We'll sing that song this week and uh, enjoy your week. Be safe. And remember, God loves you. And so do I. So have a great week. I guess I should uh, make myself disappear again. What, on three? Okay. One, two, three.